summarize it using COUNTIF. Over on the right hand side of the data, it's very important that you're in the right hand side, start by working out the number of people who want to go to each destination. Now my destinations were Edinburgh, Paris, Barcelona and Madrid. In the column beside it, I'm going to use COUNTIF to work out the number of people who want to go to each of these destinations. So I'm going to start with an equal sign, and then capitals, I'm going to write COUNTIF and start with a round bracket. I want to count the number of people, and the data for the destinations is in column C. So I'm going to highlight from column C quite far down, even further than I actually have data, because I may have more data entered later. Then I'm going to write a comma, and then I'm going to click on the name of the destination that I wish to count. I've made sure that I spell Edinburgh exactly the same all the way through, including having a capital E at the start. You need to make sure it matches whatever you've got here, otherwise it won't work. I'm finishing my formula with another round bracket, and I'm going to press enter. I'm now going to do the same for Paris. So count if, same range comma, click on Paris, round bracket. So you can use autofill, but you're going to need to go back and just update your formulas. Or you can just do it the way around like this and do in each individual one. So now we've worked out the number of people who want to go to each destination. We can easily check that we've got this right because we can count it up ourselves. So we have two people who want to go to Madrid. Monica and Jenny. Now that we've done destinations, we now need to work out the number of people who want in-flight meals. So you can resize your columns and just arrange them like this. So we've got in-flight meal. And the options for in-flight meal were yes and no. So once again with our count if, and a round bracket, we're going to start doing count if. So our in-flight meals are in column D, and we're counting the number of people who want yes. And then underneath, we're going to do count if again, select the same data, comma, and choose no. So as it happens, five want yes and five want no. I've run out of the columns in my spreadsheet, so I can highlight by clicking on the K at the top and right click and then do insert one right and do this again until I have enough columns to do the class of ticket. So resize them by clicking on the line in between if I need to, class of ticket. Now my three classes were economy, business, and first. See if you can now work out how to get the count if for economy, business and first.